Hey guys, it's Umbellas. Welcome back to a brand new video. Yes, we are in the world of San Sequaqua. I mean Sequoia. I'm so smart, I know. Today we're gonna be building a little retirement house. Now, I just thought to myself, you know, I just feel like elders don't get a lot of recognition in this game and in real life, you know, like people just don't care about elders at all. I mean, there are people who dedicate their lives to elders and it's honestly very important that we do take care of our elders and everything, you know, because they are special. They have taught us so much and they just deserve to be recognized and to be respected. So I just felt like building a little house for a very adorable retired couple, which is gonna be elders, of course. I haven't made the family, but you know, I just wanna build the house. But all right, so I'm thinking of a house structure or at least a roof structure over here that I can use. And so far, so crap. And yes, you guys, the kids are here today so if you hear them it's really out of my control all right so yeah okay so i think this is good i actually think it's crap you know what no it's fine like it has to be a small house we don't want a massive house we don't want our elders to be cleaning the whole day we just want them to be retired that's all you know that's all i want from them and that's all they want from me so yeah i don't even know who they are like i said i didn't make the family yet but anyway you gotta be cute and small you know not big small and cozy um yeah okay you know what just give me some time on the size of this house for a minute i have no idea where i'm going i think i'm maybe gonna give it a little bit of a extra floor and maybe give it a cabin like look and feel let's see we're gonna give him some stilts where the freak do you find that again oh yeah here some beautiful stilts okay i'll stop doing that the stilts are nice because it does give a house a little bit of a cabinish feeling now i don't even know what style i'm going for I'm just going with a style, you know, the style that comes to mind I'm doing and that's necessarily not always a style that exists Uh, yeah, okay. This isn't working at all. Like not even in the slightest <laughs> You know what? I feel like I do this shape way too much I feel like it's time to do something brand new and don't ask me what that is because if I don't know How the frick are you gonna know? You know, let's make a little porch. All right. Hear me out. Hear me out Okay, don't start judging. All right. Just hear me out and check me out. Just observe um, I think this is alright. I think this is cute. Okay, I'm starting to love it. Okay, because we are in the world of Santa Quaqua, I'm gonna go with growing together as a main pack to use for this bolt. This door is so freaking fancy. I love it. No, this door over here. But I'm gonna go with this door because it looks the most old agey. No, let's do the big door. Yes, baby. There we go. And then we're gonna go with the cutest windows they have. Let's see, uh, massive window. Yes. Okay, no, this is actually what I wanted here at the front. Oh, that's so cute. You know, don't worry. It will come together eventually, all right? Now, this roof at the back here, we can probably give him something like that at the back to make it look a little bit normal but also fancy and dimensional if that makes any sense at all i tend to say crap that doesn't make sense so you know just bear with the bear whatever that means we're gonna go back to growing together because sometimes you have to retick those things the whole time because it doesn't want to stay let's put the windows here at the back why am i building so fast oh my god okay we have a window here window there at the back here we can have a window no shoddy duties. What else are you gonna put back there? You know, of course you're gonna put a window there. I would have liked to bring the overhang of this roof over un unless we extend this roof. Yeah, you know, you know, you just gotta compromise a little bit sometimes. Okay, now I have a new annoyance, but you know what? This can stay as it is. It, it's normal. All we're gonna do here is take a very lovely pillar. You know, my best friend. We're gonna bring it up. Actually, no, the pillar is not my best friend. I rarely use pillars in this game. They ask you how you are. You just have to say that you're fine when you're not really fine. But you just bring it up to where it can go. And then we're gonna bring the overhang of this roof a little bit further, but only at the front to hide it away in some sense, you know. And what else we can do to hide it away even better is to look at some plants and stuff. All right.
Now, Growing Together doesn't really have any plans for us, so let's go and see what base game has to offer. Nothing, okay. Um, this might work. Okay, I don't want you on that side. I want you here, roundabout, and then I want to bring you up all the way. Let's quickly see how that looks. Okay, that's that's good. That's good. Oh, come on, now you have to do it all over again. Cry, shy, shy, shy. It's not, it's not working. But you know, we can still do a little something. I'm gonna add a little bit of cottage living as well because they have the most beautiful plants that you can use for the exterior of a house. So I want to put this one here. Yeah. Okay, okay, I love it, I love it. And yeah, okay, I don't want to overdo the house because we don't want to give our elderly couple a lot of work, you know. We don't want to give them trimming work. You can trim a little bit of your garden plants, but you don't want to give them too much work. Anyway, I'm pretty sure you guys understand fully what I mean. So I'm just gonna shut up about that now. This fence is base game and I never knew it was. Oh my gosh, it's interfering with the window. But you know what? It's not that visible, so I'm not gonna give a crap about that now. I definitely want to give them a beautiful little fireplace so that they can sit and chill when it's winter by the fire. I can give them a base game chimney, I suppose. Growing together gave us no chimneys. Chim 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 oh, they did. Excuse me. All right. Hello. Let's put him over here. Okay. Okay. I'm liking it. Okay. I just, I don't, I struggle with where I put chimneys all the time. Yeah. No. If I hesitate, then it's usually not what I want. Let's put it there. So on the inside, we can have, you know, this wall over here is actually giving me an idea. We can keep the wall like that somehow. Close that up. Put the fireplace in here. There you go. It's still basically aligned. It doesn't matter where your fireplace is. You'll always see smoke coming out of the chimney when the fireplace is ignited. So, yeah, it's cool. First off, I just really want to quickly um, figure out what I'm going to do with the interior. Like, where's the bedrooms? Where's the bathrooms? Where is the dining? You know, everything. Close this room like this. You can give them a little bathroom. Okay, the windows. <laughs> Don't do this to me. Close this up. This can be a bathroom. This can be a little study. Or, you know, maybe a little bedroom for their grandkid that's old already or something. Main bedroom here. Will a bed fit in here, though? It's very important to check. We can have a bed here. I don't know. Let's, let's wait on the idea of giving them an extra bedroom for any family members, all right? We're gonna extend this bedroom over here and create that room into a little study or a little art room or something that the elderly people will enjoy doing in their free time which is every day we can give them books we can give them easels we can give them whatever the freak we want a black block gaming system <laughs> okay we're not gonna go that far little bit i mean bathroom window i keep wanting to say bedroom when i want to say bathroom and i keep saying bathroom when i want to say bedroom it's so annoying <laughs> Okay, let's do this. I don't even know why I left that way. That was very maniacal, I'm sorry. Let's see what paint we're gonna use for the exterior. So we have a cabin-ish house, I suppose. We're gonna stick to the cabin idea, but it's not exactly gonna be a cabin. It's just gonna be a house on stilts, all right? By the way, if you don't know what a sequoia is, you know, hence the name of the pack, I mean the world of growing together, it's a sequoia tree. I want I wonder if we actually have sequoia trees. Sequinas? No, I don't want sequinas. I want sequoia. Maybe I'm spelling it wrong. Sequoia? No, I don't think we have sequoia trees. I know I'm very smart. I know these things. I'm actually not that smart, honestly. All right, so we're gonna have a lot of gardening areas, but not too much because, like I said, we don't want to give our elderly people too much work. All right, we're not young. We're elderly people. Uh, some dirt underneath the house. Yeah. Yeah. Give me some dirt, baby. Give me some dirt. I really am not a busybody. So, no, I don't want dirt, actually. No, thank you. Okay, so far, so cute, I think. Can I have a beautiful little entrance? You know, it takes skill to do the perfect pathway with these painting tools. And no, that's just me lying because a lot of people are very good in it and they don't even try. Like me! Look how symmetrical that is. <laughs> not symmetrical, but it's 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 okay. We're not gonna talk about that, all right. Actually, can I go all the way? No, not all the way down like that, but I just wanna cover some ground down there. I wanna make it dirt everywhere underneath the house. There we go, that's better. That's better. 
I'm talking so much and I'm giving myself a headache. Let's do that. Oh my god. The only thing that's gonna bring this house to life is some roof trims. Okay. Maybe not that thick. Dang, that's thick. Also, there is a washing machine on in the background. If you guys can hear that, I am terribly sorry, but it's what it is today, all right? It's, it's a holiday and a lot of people are home. So yeah, just bear with the background sounds and noises. Okay, I don't know what I, how I'm feeling about the wood. I got wood, but I'm not happy with it. That didn't sound right. I'm so sorry. <laughs> Uh, okay, how about we go a little bit fancy fancy schmanchy. Oh, it's, it's open up there You know what? I'm not gonna allow that to annoy me in the slightest because you know that that is pretty annoying But yeah, like we can't really see it So we're not gonna give them a concrete freaking house Although I really want to see how this looks like um, you know, let's stick with the wood. I don't really do this that often, you know, a full out wooden house. And these wallpapers are from growing together. No, that's one for rain. Hold up, what's this? Hmm, it's basically almost the same. It's very much the same as the previous one. But let's go with a more panel-y kind of wood. I like it. Also, I changed my mic's position to a different, well, position. Position? Position. Poseidon. So if you guys hear like a, a difference in my voice, it's probably because of that. So I just want to know if it's actually going to be too soft or too loud. I did test it, of course, but to me it sounded fine. But I used um, crappy earphones to hear the difference it made when the mic was right in front of my mouth. So yeah, I, I actually think it's fine the way it is. I don't know. Wait, this is this is not growing together. I, want, I really want to use mostly growing together, but let's not overdo the plants though i usually overdo the plants and yeah i can't help it i really can't help it let's put a fan here now will it make sense to have a ceiling fan where there's a fireplace i think so i think so i i hope so <laughs> okay hmm this house is pretty small which means we're gonna have to think smart which i'm not really good at but let's try holy crap i've never seen this bench before this is from Vorent, and this is the first time i see this like how anyway i decided to take away the island over here and give them a proper dining table rather because i just feel like the dining table is a little bit nicer than giving them a island because you know the island in the first place you need to clean that as well we don't want to give them a lot of work to give them a little rocking chair i mean what is better in an elderly home than a rocking chair nothing okay nothing Ugh, they have the worst dining tables in growing together i'm not gonna lie but this is just no it's not gonna work for our elderly couple they're gonna walk into it and bump their toes so yeah no I'm pretty sure base game can do a better job. Yeah, sure. Base game could do a much better job. We don't need a massive table anyway. I don't want to give them hard chairs to sit on because their bums are very tender and sensitive. So I want to give them nice chairs. All right. Oh, these are beautiful and vintage. You know what? I'm kind of feeling the red theme and all, but the only problem I have now is finding rugs that actually suit everything, you know, as in everything. Like, you can go with a massive rug if you want to, but our fireplace is not, it's not a good idea. We don't want to set our elders on fire. We want to take good care of them and make sure they don't trip over the rugs and stuff. Hashtag respect your elders. Yeah, no, that's a little bit trippy. They're gonna trip over that rug over there. <laughs> Okay, how about this light blue theme? I think it feels a little bit better, you know? And by that I mean it looks a little bit better. You gotta feel it. These curtains are so grandma-ish. It's from Forent and I really actually want to use this. Now we have this that we can put in the middle too. Oh, that's just gorgeous. You know, the lily pads are cute, but is there something better? Plain maybe? Plain looks good. Oh, but it has to be grandma-ish, you know? We can give them a little TV as well. Now it has to be a big screen because you know the elderly people don't have very good sight. Well, m the majority of them. But we want to have it so so that it can be very convenient for them to use and to see. And you don't need to put your glasses on first. Yeah, you know, things like that. We can have things like this, you know, an apple and a pear and some more pears. Is it just me or does elderly people really like pears? I don't want to sound stereotypical or anything, but I think they actually do like pears. I haven't met one elderly woman who doesn't like a good pair, you know. But yeah, like I said, it's not everybody though. And I won't say the majority, but a lot of them though. 
Me personally, I'm not that into pears. I will eat a pear, but only when it's cold, you know, like you had it in the fridge or something and it's nice and soft. Yes, then I would love a pear. But generally, no, I'm not really a pear kind of girl. I'm an I'm a apple kind of girl and I like strawberries and bananas and oranges. Okay, I'm pretty sure you guys really don't give a crap about that right now. <gasps> Ooh, we can have cool certificates. Okay, this is from high school years, so no screw that for now. Um, What does growing together have in terms of paintings? Okay, so we have some stuff. Not all of them are very good though. Or oh, some heritage pictures maybe. Yeah, if that makes any sense. Um, How about some family photos? Here's some more, which also looks like some, I don't know, history, heritage, picture, history, heritage, like kind of pictures. I don't know, but it's pretty cool. I like it. Don't you just love a wall for of memorabilia and heritage and wisdom maybe too and memories well memories and memorabilia are basically the same thing but you know yeah you know what i mean you know grandpa can be a little bit sneaky and have this picture up here in the bedroom nah i don't think so <laughs> all right we are very mature on this channel okay you guys very very mature well this is from bed two and it actually looks so good although the stilts it's on doesn't look very modern but it is pretty cool this is from a kit we can use that oh this is this is a cute one it has books in it so yeah i think this is perfect actually i'm sorry if my voice or my mouth is too close to the mic again it tends to happen now it's a little bit out of sync and now it's annoying me now let's bring it back okay i just really have to for some reason use this coffee table let's put it in that spare room for now you know mostly when it comes to plants i go with any pack because all of the packs together combined have good plants that i always want to use in my bolts oh come on this is so good <laughs> this is good okay but yeah this is from cottage living for some reason i thought this was from horse ranch this little adorable freaking table wardrobe with the with the almost at a window with a mirror and then i really want to use this from horse ranch in the bathroom somehow because it's just so good it's just so good that's adorable yeah the plant there also from this plant okay wait this plant is from cottage living is it from cottage living yeah i'm good i'm smart i'm very smart okay let's put this there just look how beautiful this looks with a plant on it so cute i just want to eat it up i might die then but it will be worth it i kind of like this floor tile more than the previous one like what do you think this one or this one okay you can't answer me like what a dumbass but i think this one looks better you know i'm kind of scared of this tv being up here i feel like the tvs tend to actually catch fire we can put something like a picture up here actually there is a tv that looks like a painting here it is if you turn it on it's a tv but for now it's just a painting i think that's cute I would like to have a lampy lamp here too. Now I kind of want to close up the kitchen. I don't know why. I kind of want to close it up now. You know what's one thing I learned from elders throughout my whole life? Is that they love rugs, alright? Like, I don't know why. They just love having a lot of rugs in their houses. And I want to implement that. So, you know, I'm going to forget about the whole idea where they can trip and fall over a rug. And just add more rugs as i like and it's always some kind of neutral colored rug like not always but most of the time is what i noticed they have a very neutral colored rug i'm gonna do this we really want our young people to clean their feet before they come inside because rugs are a lot of work to clean but yeah like if you guys know why elderly people love rugs please let me know because i don't know oh, oh the bunnies are the best I love the bunnies and the foxes. It's cute. I don't know what to do here. I'm scared I overclutter the house and then our elderly people are anyway gonna fall over everything they bump into. So maybe we can put something in the corner here and then call it a day. I really hope this is not too tiny. Like, is it is it too small? Like, But it is very compact. For the small house, it works. We could put a picture against this wall so it's not so empty though. And maybe we can get away with changing the wall paint or paper in the kitchen to something a little bit more cleanable. Oh, cottage living wallpaper. Yes, freaking please. I actually want to put this over here to not forget about it. I want to use that somewhere. And by that, I mean everywhere. Soft yellow color. Oh, okay, that's good. That's good, I think. But for the rest of the house, I kind of want to do something like this. 
Bam! Only flowers. Yeah. It's good. It's, it looks good. In my personal opinion, it looks good. Okay, don't do that though. It's definitely elderly like. And oh my god, the curtains camouflage into these walls. So maybe we have to go with something different then. Okay, the bedroom doesn't need too much work. Because I've already started doing the bedroom while doing the living room and everything. Okay, I'm sorry, but I had no choice than to put a bookshelf in the living room somewhere. Like, I can't believe I forgot about doing bookshelves. How the frick can you deprive your elders from books? Seriously, not right in my books. Haha, <laughs> get it? Okay, honestly, do these curtains work? And yes, I did paint my ceiling. Like, can you believe that crap? So yeah, anything else we can put against the wall in the kitchen? I just still feel like it's a little bit empty. This is a kitchen, you know, but it does make sense to have some kind of towel rack here by the basin as well, the sink. You know, this could be the little towel that they use to dry their hands or dry some dishes. We got some knives and we got some ladles and spoons and spatulas. All right, so we're gonna have our toilet there. No, I don't know if elders prefer to bath or shower. I'm pretty sure they prefer to bath. And then obviously a sink for their hands. Oh, so cute. Elderly people are so adorable. They use sinks, you know, to wash their hands. Oh my god, it's so cute. I'm kidding. Kids, please wash your hands regularly. You don't know what's lurking in the dark. Okay, so we're gonna have our toilet paper. Hopefully this is functional. I'm pretty sure it is. Like, I feel like I really don't need to player test this because I'm pretty sure it is functional. But at this stage and at this age, you just don't give a crap anymore, you know? <laughs> Doesn't make sense, I know. I really want to give them a teapot, but the space is not gonna allow us to. Although, we can take this away. We can do this. We can extend our cabinets, or sorry, our counters, and then we can put a little teapot on there. Do you know what's stupid though? Why do we not have that thingy that goes on top of this part over here, the brim? I'm talking about this, like he has it. This one has it. This one, I think, has it. The toilet lid, basically. But this one does they could have added a wooden toilet lid. Why didn't they do that? And why have I only now noticed that? Now this one has one. I'm gonna use that one. Screw that. I want to use this one. This can be like an oldish rug that they use to mess on, play on, you know, the old people. Oh my god, knitting. Very important for the elderly people because they love knitting. So this is going to be one of those kind of rooms that you can convert into a spare bedroom or something. Like we can have these kind of boxes in here maybe. Okay, not a bonsai tree. But we're going to have a easel in here. Oh, dang. Do we have this in the plain swatch? This garage thingy? No, of course not. Well, I suppose it's somewhere. A plain swatch of this garage. Because if you want to make a, you know, make-believe garage in The Sims 4, you can. But not when it's painted like that. Unless it's an artist or a graffiti artist's house. Then it would make sense. Then it would look actually super cool. Now, I think I want to build a graffiti artist's house sometime. Just don't ask me when. Because I don't even know when my period starts starts. I think this is good enough. It shouldn't be too filled up here. And now finally, let's move on to finishing the exterior. The exteriority of this house should be nice. It shouldn't look like hard work. Did I just say exteriority? Is that a word? So this is gonna be the garden side. And on this side, we can do a little pond. Like, why not? Okay, now this house is gonna look very cabinish because of the pond, but you know, it's it's good, it's fine. But okay, I'm almost finished. Now, I decided to, you know, basically create a little garden that they can just stroll in. I think the last items that I'm gonna add is things like couches, benches, because, you know, the elderly rests a lot. And we want to give them that convenience and that comfort. Grandma can sit over here and watch Gramps do some gardening, I suppose. But because this is a cabin-like house, I feel that it's not needed to add any fencing because, you know, if it's a cabin, it's open. You know, open in nature and everything. But anyway, you guys, let's go ahead and take a quick tour of our little elderly cabin. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that. Anyway, 
So coming in through our front door, we have our little dining area, a little living room space, which I am very obsessed with actually. Our kitchen area, which I actually like from this view, now that I see it from this view. And um, over here, we have a little spare room that can be converted into a bedroom if the young ones of the family wants to come and visit. Here is their beautiful little plain bed bathroom but here's the bedroom not the bathroom said it correctly this time and i mean it's it's very open here are some or here is a certificate and there is a vintage image and over here is a nice big painting i like the heirlooms though you know it's like african um what's yeah like indian maybe i don't know but i just really love that over here we have the massive pond and over here we have a stroll garden with some planters and a little seat for granny to sit on as i said before but anyway guys i really hope you enjoyed this video i hope you guys like the board and please don't forget to leave a like because hashtag respect your elders <laughs> I'll see you all in the next one.